just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. All right. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills. Conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. Have it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help. From Brandy to know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil twin. Well, oh, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominant of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Let's make ready then. 